Hi, this is Jonas from Accuracy, and today I want to show you how to set up the real flight intro link with the Accuracy Simulator. Please note that this will not work with the real flight interface and wireless interface. Both of these are proprietary, not recognized as a game controller in Windows, and therefore we sadly cannot use them because we do not have access to real flight's code, obviously. The intro link though is recognized as a game controller and so you can fully utilize it in accuracy. And I will show you how. So all you need to do really is plug in the interlink and start up accuracy. So now that we're in the sim, all you gotta do is go to transmitter, add a new transmitter, or if this is your first time starting up accuracy, the wizard will also bring up that dialog. You have to select the transmitter make. In this case, it's an interlink elite. We also support the Interlink Plus from Real Flight G3 and the Interlink X or 10. I think you gotta ask Apple about that. From Real Flight X or 10 and from Real Flight 8. So select the Interlink Elite for an Interlink Elite. Make sure that is also the USB device it recognizes. It's not the accuracy dongle, that's important. The dongle mode is automatically set to game controller and hit finish. Now go to your channels and check what you get out of this device. So the point is most interlinks, when you first plug them into Windows, they're not properly calibrated. So you may be seeing only 60% of the travel in this screen. If that's the case, you will need to calibrate your interlink. Calibrating means essentially telling a program how much of the travel of the stick it should use. So we just go into calibrate and hit device calibration. That brings up the Windows dialog for calibrating game controller devices. So hit properties, calibrate, follow the wizard here, make sure to move the sticks through their full range. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure all axes go through the range and you are good to go here. Then just go through the accuracy wizard to make sure to tell accuracy how much stick travel it uses. Same process really, center all your sticks, make sure collective is centered. Hit next, go through their full range once. Hit finish, check your channels again. All channels are centered, move to their full range and we're good. You can also check your functions which switch RPMs and throttle hold and dual rates. So what we do is we map the flight mode switch to our RPMs. RPM 1 is down, RPM 3 is up. Throttle hold th to the default throttle hold switch from real flight. And by um, our preset dual rates are mapped to this switch. Those really only affect planes and flyber helicopters. So if you do not want dual rates on this switch, but rather rescue, just remove dual rates from, like remove button zero from dual rates, scroll down a bit to rescue, click on not assigned, move the button once, and now this should switch rescue. Let's see how it works. Okay, so now we're in flight mode, we can check that everything works. Cyclic moves, tail moves. Our RPM switch switches our RPMs on the right there. Rescue toggles and throttle hold works. So we can go about some flying here with the good old Logo 700. Let's see what rescue does for us. Oh no, I lost orientation. Cool, works. Ouch. Okay, that concludes it for this video. Thanks for watching.